Good evening. This is CTV News for Thursday, September 6th. I'm Denise Douglas. And I'm Byron Scott. Glad to have you, have you with us tonight. Well, an executive at a Highsville construction company is indicted for attempting to bribe a Metro official. The Transit Agency's Office of Inspector General has charged this person, Hardet Singh, Vice President of Potomac Construction, with one count of bribery. Singh's company is a contractor for several projects with Metro and lists the agency as a top client on its website. Prince George's County will be prosecuting the case. What here is that Mr. Singh uh, attempted to bribe an official with Metro uh, regarding a contract. Uh, there was a uh, company that had a contract and they were not able to complete their business because they went out of business. Uh, Mr. Singh wanted to move this contract now to another uh, company and uh, but he didn't want to go through the process of getting it approved and go through all of Metro's processes to have it approved so it is alleged that he uh, attempted to bribe an official with Metro to look the other way so they could just funnel this money to the person that Mr. Singh wanted it to go to. The FBI and the U.S. Department of Transportation also played a part in that investigation. He was set to go on trial for the murder of his pregnant girlfriend, but early this morning, authorities found 33-year-old Tyler Tercier dead in his prison cell. Investigators say Tercier hung himself in an apparent suicide. It's been a year since police discovered the body of Howard County school teacher Laura Wallen in a shallow grave. She had been shot once in the head. Initially, Tercier blamed the crime on a group of black men, but later he recanted. Wallen was 14 weeks pregnant at the time of that incident. Well, take a look at the dramatic video that shows a commotion that unfolded at a stat at a Target store late last week. 26-year-old Curtis Marbury Green is behind bars for the incident. According to police, Green stabbed a man in the store last Wednesday. An off-duty police officer working as a security guard at the store heard what was going on and responded. You can see what happened next in this surveillance video. Green grabbed the woman, held a knife to her neck, and began walking outside to the parking lot. You can see the officer right in there trying to stop him. Person had the knife to the to uh, the female victim's neck um, and uh, he was way our officer was using this time to try to keep him calm and have other officers respond in which he was doing on the radio. So about a minute and a half later the officers arrive and approximately six to eight eventually get there. Uh, what takes place next is some officers approach. One officer had his uh, less lethal taser and approach from the side. Um, as our other officer who initially started talking with the suspect was still engaged with him, um, the secondary officer was able to approach, deploy the taser, at which point we took him into custody. We trained for this, um, if not in our minds, as we discuss things in, in our uh, roll calls each day, but our training academy goes through these kind of scenarios with us at least once a year. The woman was not hurt in the incident. Marbury Green faces attempted murder and assault charges. Anyone with information on this incident is asked to call police. The phone number is 1-866-411-TIPS. The Maryland Consumer Protection Division charges an Arizona-based pharmaceutical manufacturer with unfair and deceptive trade practices. The company is accused of violating consumer protection laws thousands of times in Maryland alone, leading to some users becoming addicted to opioids. Janine Samuels is now here to tell us more about this story. Janine. Yeah, and that's right. The statement of charges against this company is actually pretty lengthy. Maryland Attorney General Brian Frosch accused Insys Therapeutics of engaging in a scheme to buy the help of local doctors and deceive insurance companies to boost sales, specifically boost sales of this drug, Subsys, a powerful fentanyl spray. As you can see, this opioid is only approved for treating pain in adult cancer patients. However, 90% of the prescriptions written or filled in Maryland were for patients without cancer, including those with migraines and knee or back pain. According to the statement of charges as an incentive to increase prescriptions of the spray, INSYS provided tens of thousands of dollars to prescribers. In addition, company representatives are accused of participating in inappropriate sexual relationships to boost sales. The Consumer Protection Division is requesting INSYS return all revenue received from the illegal practice and pay cost and civil penalties for each violation. Instance made more than $20 million from its scheme in Maryland alone. 
Wow, very interesting. Any idea the number of prescriptions written in Maryland for that spray? Yeah, so actually of the $20 million received, it accounts for about 3,000 prescriptions. Interesting. And how are they able to deceive these insurance companies? How do they pull this whole thing off? Right, so basically according to the Consumer Protection Division, they misrepresented, so the employees misrepresented the diagnosis and yeah. the illnesses of the patients, so they lied. Wow. A scam it sounds like. Definitely. Exactly. Right. Thank you, Janine.